and, and the infections that mm -hmm. ladies get from especially public toilets. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen pictures of, of people who go and spread tissue all over just to avoid the infections. Let's talk about that. To me, that does, uh, it, it's nothing. And I'm not so concerned about uh, a silly infection which you can get rid of. I am very concerned about the kind of things people put inside. Mm -hmm. You know, there was something called, uh, and this was not featured in the, I don't think it's even one of the things that was banned and it should be part of it. It's called Shabu. Shabu came from the coast, you know. Uh, there are even some places they said it's Jiwea Mama. So they take a Kaholka crystal, you know, and they insert it. You know, I'm talking about that kind of injury, you know. And uh, I don't know, uh, some sort of chalk, some sort of powder, you know. There was a lady who came to me because she was preparing for her husband, you know. Not only did she put uh, lemon and salt, trying to get rid of somebody told her, oh, but if you put lemon and salt, it will, it, it will not smell, you know. So, you know, like though you put lemon and salt in fish, mm -hmm. it doesn't have too fishy smell. Mm -hmm. Imagine somebody decided wow. that Victoria needed that. You know, and this one who had put that powder, it was, it, and then it was itchy. So she kept scratching, you know. She couldn't even walk. Those are the major concerns. Mm -hmm. Being, you know, just infection is the same as when they touch without uh, cleaning. Th those are not major things. But what people insert with this misinformation, like what has been burnt, to me, that's the major, major concern. Mm -hmm. And this came, I remember at the beginning, these things have been here for close to 10 years mm -hmm. because I've been monitoring. When they came, um, there were these clips of somebody removing it, pulling it from the, from the Miss Victoria, right. and it comes out with all this gooey, dirty. You know, there's a lady who told me, I need that. They thought I saw them. I need that because I've never done so. I can imagine mine has been clogging, so there's all this dirt in my womb. And all. I had to explain, you know. So that was wrong. Everybody thought, if I don't clean, you can imagine this lady does it every month, and this is the kind of crap she removes. So you can imagine if I've never done, it. never done it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, that is what causes it. Mm -hmm. You put it in here. I don't know which ones you have seen. There are some I saw, they have, you know, gunia, mm -hmm. gunia the old gunia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. Yavyazi, I've seen that, yeah. you know, uh, two little, little balls, which and the fabric is so rough. Even a tampon is so soft. Anything which is made for this particular area mm -hmm. is soft. So whatever it is these guys have been doing, yeah. I can't believe. I, for once, I am so glad these things have been banned, officially banned right. in the country. Right, and, and we'll... Just to clarify, sure. it's a myth that you can get infections from toilets. Mm. It's a complete myth because usually, and especially so those that are cleaned regularly, they tend to be pretty hygienic. It's just about making sure you don't get splashed on. So you just put some tissue in and mm. then use the toilet. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, you're not going to get STIs, you're not going to get, mm. especially people talk about happies, you talk mm. about getting UTIs and the likes from public toilets. That's actually a myth. Wow because a lot of these microorganisms cannot survive in the environment for that long, for it to wait for the next person to come and use the bathroom. Oh, oh. So it's just about how you, especially, you will more likely get an infection from your dirty hands mm. when you go to use that public toilet mm -hmm. than from the toilet itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So okay.